guys how are we all doing so dan from trading with dan here um this is our bitcoin evening update so we will go straight over to those charts if you guys wouldn't mind just smashing that, that thumbs up button that would be awesome um so yeah four hour we can see we're on a four hour nine um broken out the pennant but obviously we're really struggling to get any sort of um well pennant breakout style tr traction to the upside um kind of what i was suspecting if we broke out back here um but i thought if we break out down here maybe we've got a chance but um but yeah it is, it is not to be uh maybe the maybe it is the four hour nine um that is just causing this bit of weakness so realistically um i would look for it's difficult to say with these wicks and obviously this candle <laughs> well actually we've only just started this candle so i can't really draw much here really um but yeah breaking basically above these highs i mean i'm probably still um yeah maintain closing a four hour above this this previous high we've got uh about 11 um 11,440 if we close um a candle for our candle above there then i expect we'll get um get some a nice extension to the upside um but do i think that'll happen or do we think we're going to trade lower do you think we're going to be form a sort of another box um a box pattern <laughs> Um, I may actually adjust this. Well, I'll leave it to the time being. See how to see how this evening pans out, and in the morning I may sort of adjust it to a flat top, um, and then maybe see if we actually we're actually forming an ascending triangle on just a longer time frame. Um, over to the 12 hour, um, not too much to read from there. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Not too much to read from there, other than. Other than we sort of come out of the pennant, um, but haven't really had a, a move up, so therefore that pattern hasn't hasn't really worked. They don't always work, guys. <laughs> um, but um, but it still could though. Um, it still could um, on the next the next few candles, especially four hours. The next four hour candles, if we get if we we don't have any weakness on this four hour nine, um, start to trade above this level, above um, well the eleven thousand four hundred and forty level. Um, I think then we could then get the breakthrough this. Um, break through this resistance um we'll have a look at the stochastics um for our first i mean for our looking strong coming up um this is what i thought was going to properly break us up i mean it, ha it has moved us up um but not really not not as much as you would maybe have hope it would um 10 hour 10 hour still up 12 hour up quite nicely um, and daily has turned back up as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, based on these um, stochastics, we really should be making progress. Um, progress where we are, and I mean, we're not really. I would say we're not really making a lot of progress. Um, if we go over to a, go to four, I'll try and have a look. You can kind of see we're there or thereabouts. Um, we've been we've basically been roughly this level, obviously here with these wicks. I mean, granted, we are holding up here, and that is obviously inherently bullish, but um but we're gonna run after we're gonna run out of these um especially shorter time frame stochastics and they're gonna want to reset and that's potentially gonna drag us down so um it'll be it will be definitely be an interesting weekend of price action um stock markets were quite interesting today if we want to go over check 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 the nasdaq um still pretty much respecting our channel as you can see upside downside and now moving up but um what well, i was gonna say that's a daily isn't it let's look at an hour time frame and um, you kind of see what happened today um <laughs> can we why is it saying that all right yeah sorry um we, had, we basically we had basically we had a sell-off um and then um had a had a pretty strong rally um so that's quite um quite interesting in fact we're looking on this one should be able to see it better here yeah here we go you can see it a lot clearer here um so yeah this was obviously this morning um um selling off selling off instantly of four hour nine um and then yeah i'm just literally jammed up into the closes here <laughs> um in true um month end markup style um it is interesting to see that bitcoin didn't really react too much from that you can see this four hour nine is having a little bit of selling pressure at the moment um but yeah didn't um bitcoin didn't really have a massive um, bullish reaction to this month end markup in the stock markets um so um it will be interesting to see how this weekend plays out but like i said i am expecting us to have to at least come down and properly test this 10,500 otherwise i think the market will run away with itself i mean i'm completely ignoring the the, the gap um, we wait we may or may not have to close that cme gap um at any now or whenever i mean we can easily have a rally up to 14k then come back down 
Um, we're not necessarily going to go bullish, bullish upwards and onwards. Um, but yeah, I'm not. That's not really part of my price analysis because a few people have said, "What about the CME gap? Do you think it'll close?" That's where we're going now. Um, basically, um, not really, um, not re not really, especially what I'm looking for. So, um, but yeah, anyway, so um, that is it for this evening, guys. Um, remember, this is not a financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Always do your own research. I reckon we'll have an interesting weekend of price action, to be honest. Um, it may be interesting to the downside, but we, we will have to see. Um, we did have this nice move up over the weekend last time, so maybe they're going to take take the opportunity to pump us up over this weekend too so yeah thanks for listening guys not a financial advisor not a financial advisor always do your own research and i'll speak to you guys in the morning